Okay, Legis, I'm going to take a uh, trade on the US dollar. Um, this is just following on from the review video I did today. Um, well, the last one, you'll see once this is uploaded. Um, and I'm just placing my stop loss here. <clears throat> and my target. So, continuing with the theme of Aussie bullishness. I mean, all week we've really been consolidating. After this initial move up, we've just been in a dirty range consolidating, and I think it's ready to break out. So I'll explain why. So starting from the beginning, this daily key level here. So that is 77.47. Okay. Now. To the H1, I spoke about this. Yeah, this candle here, acting as the pivot. Okay. This candle here led to this move up to break mark structure here. Okay. And as you can see, it's acting as resistance, resistance, support, support, support. Finally, support came down to 50% of it. And held perfectly and ripped up. Now, what has this done? It's broken this high here, breaking mark structure on a, sh on a, sp a sh sh short time frame. Okay, broke this short term. Now, because consolidating, I'm expect now I'm expecting a large move up going to the daily. We formed this. Uh, the down candle led to the move, then big up candle are following. So retest of it. Let's block here. So this should be these down candles that took out these stops here within this here pushed up, broke this high. Now let's mark out fifty percent of this. Comes in perfectly here. Okay. My stop loss just below that. Now my stop loss is also based on <coughs> see this up cattle here. Similar. So I look for zones where price is acting as pivots. Okay, candles, resistance, spike through there. As soon as this broke, then this was gave in, and then we had bullish flow. This down candle pushed up, broke the structure high. Retest of that. Here, so if they were selling here, they come back down, start buying. Okay, plus it's fifty percent of what? This range, this down, right up here, these down candles. I'm ignoring this because this candle is within these two candles, so I don't need to count that. So I'll get rid of that now. So my stop loss is um, seven point five ticks, and my target is sixty-six point four. Okay, so. Let's target one, and I personally believe we're going to reach four here as extended targets. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll see how price unfolds, and I'll update as it does. Okay, let's just, just continuing with the trade. So, right from our entry, really, you know, didn't mess around much and pushed up, and that was expected because once we've taken out the stops and once it's ready to rip, then it doesn't really waste time. So still on for this target so the next level of resistance we are at now is if i go to the monthly chart right it's going to be last month's low so last month's low comes in at 77.988 so if i draw a line like that 77.988 and i'll explain why that is significant for me so we'll just be in a different color. Okay, so let's go down to a lower time frame. Now, look at the monthly chart, for example, right? We've come down. Um, sorry, we've come down here. We've next previous month. I mean, this month. Sorry, we've come down again, taken out that low into a key level, right? into a key level and back above what does that say so if that if i was trading that and i was expecting um if i wanted to buy for example 
uh, obviously I'd wait for a key level but then I'd like to see a stop rate because once we get a stop rate right um, then the movement away from it is quite quick so obviously this is a monthly candle but say on the lower time frame my ideal plays are what's it called um, stop rates then entering for example here we have this low here quick wick through but then and a sign of a stop rate is it automatically rejects goes back within the range here now the fact that it's above the monthly open shows that it's back within the range which is in favor of the reasoning we've given already for our bullish bias okay um, so far it's going uh, the way we want it to now um, for if the candle was to go above the monthly open and this day trade could evolve into a swing trade because then we're bullish and for example we are still making low high with these lows here but it's a higher low compared to that then a high then a low then a higher high so it's a series of uh, higher lows and higher highs basically that's what's happening so this could be uh, the low for the next higher high now, I'm not saying we need to play it in that direction I'm only looking for a day trade really but it's how you can how I would evolve uh, a day trade to a swing trade and just bring all the case together the story on together to support a bullish bias because when we take trades we want to the path of least resistance is in sync with the higher time frame flow and if it's in sync with the higher time frame flow then it doesn't waste time going in that direction okay so the open of uh, the month candle is 78322 so if I draw that out which we're not too far off 78 Three two two. So let's do that in a different color so we know what's going on. Okay. There's a lot going on here, but just bear with me. So we got monthly open and previous month low. Okay, so we passed that now, and now we're coming out of this consolidation. So if we just box that out just to visualize visually see it. You can see that this consolidation here is starting to what? come out of it okay finally and uh, what did I say earlier consolidation leads to expansion okay and this is why I was interested in this I wanted to get in while it was consolidating low risk the uh, risk is low you can often get tight stops if you really understand price action well and then we get the expansion okay so I'm going to come out here just for this purpose, uh, um, but I can always get back in there anyway. As long as I know where price is going, there is no fear of missing the trade because I got out too early. You know, if you're really good with price action, there's always up there's many opportunities to get on board. Okay, so I'll continue once uh, price is involved in more. Okay, ladies, um, it's now London, London. So um, I just put my stop losses. Okay, so it's unfolded the way we wanted to. I mean, it's a really nice trade, pain free. Uh, as I explained, previous month low, this was important. So, the significance of that, and now you can see why. Look how it found support here, um, and then pushed up. So, we are at where? the next level of resistance, the monthly open, the natural level. Okay, so this is what turns things the month bullish or bearish. Okay, so. I still think it's gonna go higher. Um, and I think it's gonna at least fill this in. So I'm gonna take some off the table now. Okay. So what about half of this off? And the the remaining half run. Okay. So at least there's something off the table even if it does against me um, and I'll, I'll also start trading stop losses um, so I, I do not want to see it below here don't trade too too tight but I do not at the same time do not want it to go too low below the Asian high so at least we've got something locked in something banked and uh, I'll be just playing towards this day trade target okay so I hope you enjoyed this video. So I'm gonna end it here, otherwise it's gonna turn to be too long. Um, and maybe catch you next time.